to scrunch, fold, or bidet? That is the question. Here's our lovely bit of cork here that I'm going to call, what starts with a Y? It's got Y tattooed on it. Yolanda the piece of pork. <laughs> okay, so this is Yolanda, and that is the piece of pork that we're gonna be using for this, okay? Now I think you realize we've used pork because I don't know if you know that tribesmen used to call people like us in the arriving from the new world, they used to call us long pigs because our skin is very similar to the skin of a pig. I tried to win the pork top trumps by having a tattoo, but also a bit of hair and a nipple, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. We've got our beautiful bit of chocolate spread here from the local superstore. So look, chocolate spread there. And uh, just put my finger in that just so you know that it's real, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, it really is quite nice actually. Did you ever used to have this like on toast when you were a kid? So the great debate that we're trying to solve today, B-Days versus wiping your bum with a piece of paper. We also might find out in this video whether, because what is it today, we're Thursday today, if I rub Nutella into these grooves here, where I'd usually rub in salt and pepper, a bit of rosemary and all that sort of stuff, maybe having chocolate spread in there just inadvertently makes amazing crackling. You never know. Right, so we're gonna cut up Yolanda in half. Right down a bit here, okay? I guarantee you, someone is gonna comment on this video saying, I couldn't watch this, how dare you put this up, you've cut meat in half, don't you understand I'm a vegetarian? So tattooed is gonna be the paper, and untattooed is gonna be the B-Day. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> it feels weird taking food into the toilet, even though I do sometimes do that. Nothing better than a packet of squares. Sat down, watching endless YouTube shorts. I mean, what kind of consistency do you think this is, Max? What have you eaten? When you've had James's fake excrement, what have you eaten to get it like that? It's gotta be Harry Bow, isn't it? <laughs> Harry Bow's the only thing that'll get it like that. <laughs> Let's just uh, get my meat up here, yeah? <laughs> I hope I don't drop it in there, because I do actually want to eat this on Sunday. <laughs> Let's just get a little bit of... Uh, look at that. So, you know, you've done a bit of a poo. And that's almost like, you know, it's gonna come out of that sort of, that angle, isn't it? Is this like the lowest point of YouTube doing this? Or is this peak YouTube? <laughs> Have we reached peak? I really wanted to lick that off then, but I couldn't because it's, I've got raw pork all over it. By the way, are you a folder or a scruncher? Max, are you a folder or a scruncher? Follow me. Yeah. Max cares about the trees. If you're a scruncher, you don't get proper coverage and yeah, nothing comes well out of it. We're gonna also figure out whether scrunching or wiping is better as well. So let's go for the first type, the scrunch. So people, I mean, some people do this. Bit of Yolanda and let's just give it a bit of a scrunchy. So, oh, you're in there. I mean, I mean, that is residue on the bottom, yeah? Residue on the ass. There's still some there. So we know, I think we know there, Max doesn't scrunch, I don't scrunch, now we know why, yeah? So I get a spoon, she says. What's a spoon, I thought? Never used one of them before. Usually I just use my hands for everything. Eating gravy, beans, meat. It's quite a big spoon, Em. Don't worry. Means I can genuinely eat some now. Mmm. Look at that, on you go. Big old bit of poo. Em, yeah. can you fold this piece up? Please. I don't think Emily does fold. I've been near her apartment, I don't think she does. <laughs> Stop shaking the camera, Max. Right, so this is the fold. Oh my God, it's actually worse. I mean, look at it. You're smearing poo all over your bum with a piece of paper when you use one of these, okay? Right, I hope this doesn't go wrong. <laughs> this could go very wrong, Max, okay? Here it comes. B-Day time. Oh, look at that. There, you see it all washing off. You actually see it washing off the bottom, in the toilet. Yeah, this is what you do. You do it with your hands, then it flushes as well. Everything's happening. All right, in a minute it's gonna stop with any luck. Well, you can dry it as well from here, which I might have to try and initiate with my nose because my hands are all taken up. No, I can't reach. In a minute it'll stop. This is, I mean, it's nice and warm as well. It's like having a nice little bum shower. 
every time you go to the toilet, you come out nice and clean. There we go, it's gone in. Wow. Look at that. Look how clean that is. Yeah? That is uh, the majority of British bums in this country. Yeah? That's Big Dave's bum after he's had a couple of pints down the, down the local pub. That's a bit of light and bitter there, yeah? That's my bum after the same amount of beer. And honestly, it's true. Every time I come out of the toilet, I say I've got the cleanest bum ever. If, like me, you also use a little bit of soapy water on your bot bot, you get a lovely clean bot bot. This is just... That's Mick, I guarantee it. Mick, do you want to come around for dinner on Sunday? Um, got a bit of pork on. I like lamb. Do you like lamb? I prefer lamb. We could do it with lamb if you like. <laughs> Next week's video, can you wash Nutella off a bit of lamb using a bidet? So one thing you need to realise is when you get older, it gets more crevices, more folds down there, right? Just look at this bit here. Look, there's, in the bit of pork, is actually, look, you can see the, the spread has gone in there and we've tried to get it out and we've just pushed it in deeper. Who knows what festering could happen down there. You need, might need antibiotics after that massive curry and all those beers you might have. But then look at this here, the B-Day. I mean, you saw us smear it on there. You've seen us wash it off. I mean, it works so much better, doesn't it? Can you comment below whether you use a bead or not or whether you'd think about using one? But also, do you think this will taste very nice? A few days ago, they were in the toilet being spread with Nutella. And now look, get a good look at these beauties. They're on the egg, getting some love. And they pour a little bit of the oil over them. Oh yeah, baby. That's gonna be a lovely roast dinner, that is. Mwah! Beautiful.